I'm not kidding, a high of 80 degrees and a low of 61. Not a cloud in the sky, sunny all day. But please do get your chance outside because of this nice weather. It is unseasonable and it's likely to result in some rain going into this week. Again, my name is Chelsea and now over to Sarah for our weekly interview. Chelsea, I'm here with Danny Goldenberg. She is the captain of the UWL competition dance team. Thank you for coming, Danny. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, so I know there's some confusion because there's a few different dance teams on campus. So how is the competition dance team different from the hip-hop team or the POM squad? Um, the competition dance team is different than the other dance teams on campus because Unlike the other teams, we compete at the regional and national level. So we also perform at basketball games and other community events, um, which is why it's really important to UWL. But then we get out there and compete um, with other um, state universities and out-of-state universities as well. Okay, so how did you do this year at competition? Um, at our first regional competition, we qualified for the national competition, which was held in Minneapolis. Wow. Yes, and we competed there in February, and we placed... Um, fifth in our jazz division and we got first place in our open division so we're technically national champions. Wow congratulations. Thank you. So you're a captain and this is a student organization so you don't have a coach or anything right? No. So do you do all the choreography by yourself? How does that work? Um, I am a captain with two other girls and okay. we take care of all the choreography ourselves. We do ask for a little bit of help um, from the other members that are willing to help and most of the time they are and um, yeah we um, we do all the financial stuff, all the scheduling of practices and wow. choreography. So it's a lot Very to take cool. on, a but lot it's of a work. fun. Yeah, it's a fun job. Right. So the other members of the team is everybody trained on the dance team? Are there tryouts? Um, they there are tryouts, but we don't um, require any um, level of dance to be able to try out. So it's open to anybody, and um, generally the girls have had some dance experience. And the tryouts are generally held um, in the beginning of each new school year. Okay, cool. And what type of dance do you do? The dance team is a, uh, a more of a jazz-based team okay. with some kind of ballet background generally. Um, but yeah, like I said, jazz. Very cool. And okay, so where can we catch these dance team performances? I know you said the basketball games. Anywhere else? Are you doing anything? Um, the basketball games um, are where we perform more regularly, but each year we do a cancer benefit show at the end of the year to raise money for cancer. So that's a good place to check us out. Okay, so tell me about this benefit show. What's it all about? This benefit show was started six years ago for, um, there was a UWL football player who was diagnosed with cancer and the football team wanted to do something to raise money for his cancer. And so the football team and dance team have gotten together and each year raised money for an organization or a student um, to help them raise money. Um, well, we raise money for them to help them with um, dealing with their cancer and their medical bills and such. So um, this year our show will be on April 20th at 7 o'clock and April 21st at 5 o'clock. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And anyone can go? All the students can yes, go? Yes, it's $5 for everyone. Um, the general public is invited, students, and it tends to be a really good time. Um, I know a lot of faculty comes as well, and um, yeah, we just, we're trying to raise as much money as we can. That's amazing. Now, last year, if I remember correctly, didn't it go to a boy that was on the football team? Yes. Last year, um, a UWL student, Brock McMullen, who was okay. on the football team, was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And through ticket sales and community sponsors, we raised over $5,000 for Brock. And um, Brock is actually in remission right now and well enough to be dancing in this year's show. So you can come out and catch Brock this year dancing wow. when last year the money was going to him. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah. So tell me, how do these practices go? I figure it, it's probably hard to control a group of rowdy football players. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit crazy. We practice with them two times a week, and although they're out of season, they have a really busy football schedule. I'm sure. um, yeah, they have a lot of off-season stuff to do. So we practice with them when we can, and there's... 16 girls and 16 boys, so like you said, it gets a little out of control, but um, we try and buckle down when we can and just keep in mind that we're doing this for a really good cause and get serious and down to business sometimes so we can put on a great show for everybody else. How long do you practice for this show? Uh, we have been practicing since the end of January, and we wow. practice all the way up until the show, so about three, three and a half months. Very cool. So if people come to the show, what can they expect? Um... I don't know. I would say expect the unexpected. We never know what these guys are going to do. Um, I would say expect definitely a lot of laughs, some good dances, some crazy outfits generally from the boys, right. um, and really just a lot of fun. 
Awesome, that is amazing. Now, okay, can you tell me what has been one of your favorite experiences with the dance team? Sure. <laughs> um, the benefit show is an annual thing and it's always a good time, but I'd have to say that one of the best memories that I've had um, was this year at Nationals when we were announced the winners. It was really humbling and um, a great experience for all of us. Yeah, that is so amazing. So what do you think? Do you think the dance team will keep growing? How do you think they're looking for next year? Yeah, I definitely think next year there's going to be um, a young team. There's only um, two graduating seniors this year. So there's going to be a whole bunch of um, young girls ready to move forward. And each and every year we have more and more girls trying out. And wow. we're really just reaching our full potential. And it's really nice to see that. That is so great. So, okay, back to the benefits show. Yep. Do you ever get nervous with your partner? I mean... Is yeah. it nerve-wracking being flipped around and whatnot? Yeah, we do a lot of lifts with the boys, and that's what makes it so fun. And you just kind of got to trust that they're going to they're gonna catch you, and they're going to get you around and not on your head. But it is a little bit nerve-wracking, but I don't think we've had a drop yet. So Well, that is awesome. So, again, this year's benefit show is April 20th and 21st. And um, you should all get tickets. Definitely attend. Thank you so much for being here, Danny. Uh, stay tuned with WMCM. And now here's another look at Perfect Pets. Come meet Sonny, a two-year-old male domestic short hair. He's very friendly and affectionate, and his purr will for sure win you over in no time. Here's Haley. She's a female one-year-old German Shepherd Husky mix. She's a beautiful, lovable dog that will brighten any home she's adopted into. Looking for a kitten? Well, then Kermit's the cat for you. He's a six-month-year-old domestic short hair. He's very playful and is looking for the perfect home with lots of fun things to do. And last but not least, here's Toby, a four-month-year-old lab. He does well with other dogs and has lots of energy and certainly a lot of love to give. To find out more about adoption for these pets or others, contact the Cooley Region Humane Society at 781-4014. Again, the phone number for the Cooley Region Humane Society is 781-4014. The University of Wisconsin Lacrosse women's swimming and diving team competed at the NCAA Division III Championships last Friday in Indianapolis. UWL's Danielle Ellingson earned NCAA Division III All-American honors with a third place finish in the 100 breaststroke with a time of 1 minute 2.68 seconds. Ellingson's time sets a school record, breaking her own record of 1 minute and 3 seconds set earlier this year. It is her 14th career All-American award and her third individually. In other action, the Eagles 800 freestyle relay of Ellingson, Andrea Tesk, Grace Jarzemski, and Abby Deal placed 17th overall with a time of 7 minutes, 44 seconds. The UWL softball team extended its winning streak to, two, to six games with a 5-1 victory over rival Viterbo University Tuesday afternoon. The Eagles improved to 14-3 on the season, while the V-Hawks fell to 10 games below 500. In the first meeting between the two teams since the 2009 season, UWL took a 1-0 lead in the top of the second as pinch runner Kristen Gozer scored on a Viterbo fielding error. UWL scored a two-out run in the top of the sixth to take a 5 to nothing lead. Allie Meyer had a two-out single and moved to second on an Ashley Flash and Rhyme single. Katie Fink followed with an RBI double to score Meyer. Viterbo scored its lone run in the bottom of the sixth on a Maddie Podluck home run. Probst earned the win for UWL, pitching four innings, allowing two hits and one walk while striking out five. Lauren Barris picked up her fourth save of the year, going three innings, allowing one hit and one run with five strikeouts. Keyes finished two for four for the Eagles with an RBI and run scored, while Meyer was two for three with a run scored. UWL returns to action Monday, April 2nd, hosting Gustavus Adolphus College. Eight University of Wisconsin lacrosse student athletes earned NCGA All-American honors Saturday afternoon at the NCGA Gymnastics Championships at the College of Brockport in New York. UWL entered the championships winning 10 of the last 12 national titles, including four in a row. UWL's Tegan Orr and Jenna Swales recorded the top finishes for the Eagles Saturday as both tied for third place. Orr tied for third on the vault with a 9.565, and Swales tied for third on the floor exercise with a 9.65. Orr earned her second career All-American honor and Swales ends her career with three All-American accolades. UWL placed third in, th in the NCGA Championships Friday night, 
finishing with a team score of 187.2. The College of Brockport, New York, and UW-Whitewater tied for the national title with a score of 188.05. And that's all for this week's sports. Well, it sounds like UWL once again did, uh, did really great, but that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching WMCM's Week in Review. Make sure to join us next week, Thursday, 4.30, right here on Campus Channel 6, Charter Channel 96, and Digital Channel 989.